First uh, question for Mr. Drager. We obviously are dealing with a mess here today. Thanks for coming over here. Do you feel like the department has owned its mistakes or taken responsibility? And do you believe any employees of the Department of Education, political or otherwise, should lose their jobs because of the botched rollout? The department, um, the department has certainly acknowledged that um, these have been difficult and challenging times. Um, but I have yet to hear any sort of apologies from the Department of Education and, and not even to schools, but to, to students and families. Um, and maybe I admit that maybe I've missed them, but we are, we are months, six months delayed from where the FAFSA should have been released to students and families. There are a lot of glitches and challenges and there have been entire swaths of students who have not been able to complete it. So. Um, we have not seen that. I, I think this committee bipartisanly has the responsibility to explore whether um, there should be ramifications felt as it relates to, to those sorts of questions, Mr. Grothman. I would, I would add two points to this. One is if there was a financial aid director or even a college president that, that delayed financial aid on their campus for up to six months, the, the professional price that would be paid by that for that would be pretty steep. Um, the second point I would raise is that federal student aid is one of only three performance-based organizations within the federal government. It operates very uniquely in the federal government. That means it's given certain flexibilities that don't exist elsewhere within federal agencies in terms of hiring, HR practices, and contracting. And with those flexibilities should come additional accountability that Congress should hold them to account for. And if it's okay with the committee, we could, we could certainly submit some of NASA's recommendations on, on PBO accountability and, and reform. Okay, we'll switch to Ms. Feldman. Um, when would your university normally send out aid officers? And because of the delays, when will the off offers be sent out this year? Yeah. Normally we attempt to send out aid offers with our offers of admission. So that would have been towards the end of January for our early admission applicants and towards the end of March for our regular. We have yet to be able to send out a single aid offer because of the poor quality of the data and the late receipt of the ICERs. We are hopeful that we have found some workarounds because we are one of those schools that also collect the CSS profile form that will allow us to produce aid offers in a couple of weeks. However, without that, I'm not sure I would have an answer for you today. So you have no idea when, when you guess they'll be coming out this year? I, I'm hoping in, uh, by the first week of May we'll have something out there. But okay. I'm hoping. Um, I've been contacted by some professionals in Wisconsin. Obviously, we have a lot of colleges there like everybody else. Uh, and they're losing faith in the department. What do you think the Department of Education has to do to restore trust with the colleges and financial aid officers. Yeah, I understand that lack of faith when the information and guidance keeps changing, when just when we think we're going to get information, there's another delay. I think what we really need from the department is for them to own the problems that they have, which they've started doing, and just tell us straight what's going to work, what's not going to work, anything about next year that we should know now it's it's sort of hard to believe we're going to all be solved and on time for next year let's start planning for that right now and let's be good partners and try to help each other solve all the problems 